Hey, what's up guys? John here. Something very interesting is likely going to happen in this housing market to the likes in which we've never seen before. And I'm going to lay it out in this video. The Fed just came out. They said that there's a catastrophe coming for U.S. business. They said 37% of business are in major trouble. I think that number is much, much greater. And the reason for that is small business in America has been under attack over the last few years with rising costs, rising wages, rising taxes, a consumer that has pushed a lot of cost onto credit and now they have less disposable income than they've had in the past. It's just been a very, very challenging, challenging environment for a lot of small businesses. Meanwhile, large corporations have, their, well, many of them have their own shipping distribution. Um, you know, they have their footprint globally to where they can outsource as much work as possible and draw in uh, products that they can sell at a much higher margin than you know Sally's Beauty or Steve's Plumbing or whatever it may be, who's they're really struggling. But now what we're starting to see here is a situation that's unfolding against US homeowners to the likes in which we've never seen before. And I think it's gonna bring forward and present an opportunity for smart and savvy real estate investors that want to invest in real estate, that wanna grow and scale a business, that want to retain talent for their business. I think we're gonna see a huge shift in capital and opportunity over the next 24 months. And it's up to all of us to see what's really going on. And I'm gonna paint the picture for you in this video because it's really incredible. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's gonna share this content to educate more people about what's really happening in this economy. Also, today's video is sponsored by greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you wanna fix your credit, we would love to help you and position you for what I believe is going to be one of the greatest investing opportunities of our lifetime. That's greatcreditfast.com. Take a look at this. So 37%, right? Investment, employment, and economic activity could take a significant hit. The share of non-financial firms in financial distress has reached a level that is higher than during most previous tightening episodes since the 1970s. So you're talking talking 50 years almost, right? 50 years. This is the situation that we're walking into, and it's gonna be far worse than the 1970s. You think about it. Back then, many people would say, oh, home mortgage rates were very, very expensive back then, John, in the 1970s and 1980s, and that was true. You know, in the, in the 90s, rates were much higher, but we never had debt like we have today. Now we have a situation where people are spending more than one year's wages on a vehicle. People are, they're being pushed to the brink with record high student loan debt, record high credit card debt, record high food cost, it's a much harder world today than it ever was in the past, you know, dating back 50 years. But look at where the everyday, you know, employment is. First, I wanna show you where jobs are. 2023, we had in the tech sector, in America, 211,000 layoffs, 211,000. Uh, in 2022, we had 164,000, right? So we're already surpassed the 2022 layoffs. And I believe we're probably gonna end this year somewhere around 500,000 tech jobs laid off in America in 2023 if we see two more interest rate hikes this year, which I think is likely. But let's look at where wages are. Wages in 2019, $68,000 was the median U.S. income, right? $68,000. Today, that median income is $67,000. So real wages, they dropped by about 1000 bucks over the last four years. But what happened with rising costs? What happened with home prices? This is something very interesting because the median home price, the median mortgage rate in 2019 was about 1200 bucks, right? $1,200. And today, 1466, right? But they have the golden handcuffs. The golden handcuffs are these very, very low interest rates. And many people thought that they had tons of equity in their properties, but now a lot of that equity is getting sucked out because of these very high interest rates and this huge, huge run on uh, rate increases that we haven't seen in you know, history, right? And we're likely gonna continue to see these hikes in the short term, which I think is gonna throw off a lot of people when they wanna refinance their properties, get a home equity line of credit. Many people in America always use their home as a piggy bank. And whenever they run into a hard situation or they need some money or they wanna make an investment, they'll just do a refinance on their property. But what happens when we look at what occurred over the last three years where people are relocating they were going from you know, Los Angeles and New York City and Boston, all these different markets, and moving into the suburbs, buying these big homes, well overpaying for them. And now they're looking at this property like, hey, you know what, I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna sell because I can't, I don't have the equity. So they're either gonna rent out their homes or they're gonna give the keys back to the bank. And I think right now we're at a period where people have not yet made that decision. But as they keep hiking rates, people are gonna be forced to make a decision on what they do with this property. Look at this. 90% of homeowners have a mortgage rate 90% below 6%, 90, right? Who want, many people don't wanna give up these rates, but if you look at what people are actually searching for, 
in Google, you get a completely different picture compared to you know the story that we're being told. Can I sell my home if it's in foreclosure breakout? Sell my house fast Phoenix up 4,700%. Sell my house fast Arlington up 3,300%. Home equity loan, no credit, up 500%, right? But it's very fascinating because it's not just jobs. It's not just mortgage rates. People are getting hit from all sides. Everyday Americans are getting hit by all sides. Car insurance is absolutely skyrocketing. I just actually renewed my wife's policy. And when they gave me this quote, I was blown away. We paid six months up front to save, I think it was like 10 or 12% if we paid up front. So we did. But the amount of money that we paid to insure this car was it, it was mind blown. I was mind blown. Uh, but everyday Americans, I'm hearing all the same in the comment section. Oh, John, I was quoted $700 in New York City for a basic car for insurance. People are just, they're paying through the teeth for their cars. But as this is happening, we're starting to see, I mean, some rates are jumping 40%. We're starting to see this situation unfold with these rising costs, where people are locked into all this, all this different debt and their wages are falling but everything is just getting progressively more expensive. Now, we have property taxes that across the state assessed values are rising 14.6%. It's the biggest increase in 20 years, 20 years. You have homeowners insurance 19%, increased 19% since 2018. You have utilities going up 14.3%. You have inflation costing the average American family $433 a month. So um, when I look at this information, I'm like, okay, real wages are falling, car insurance is going up, homeowners insurance are going up, uh, utilities are going up, everything is going up. How can people maintain this if now they have no option to access liquidity inside of their homes, they can't refinance, and a lot of layoffs are starting to occur, and the Fed is getting more and more aggressive, right? So when people say, John, you know, I think things are going to be okay. I think this is all going to be okay. I'm just looking at, you know, the average credit card interest rate is now 20.92%, which is higher than it's ever been, right? Any point in the Federal Reserve. I mean, this is pretty crazy. You have a trillion dollars, a trillion dollars in overall interest rates, um, interest rate hikes. So when you start to look at this, I mean, it's nuts. Look, Americans owe nearly a trillion trillion dollars. Americans owe a trillion dollars in credit card debt. So they keep increasing interest rates. What, what are people going to do, right? People are going to start to uh, being able to afford to less, right? And we're already starting to see this in the housing market. Look at some of these markets, right? Seattle down 12.4%. San Fran, 11%. Vegas, 6%. Phoenix, 6%. San Diego. Now, a lot of these are you know smaller numbers, but what people don't realize is that it costs you 6% to sell your property, right? But just with agent fees and transfer taxes. Now, if you factor in uh, anything else, it's really probably closer to seven to eight percent to sell. And you look at this number, and then you add up the actual cost of sale. It puts a lot of people underwater because the average down payment for a first-time buyer was six percent, and the average down payment for a second home was thirteen percent. So, give or take about ten percent down. Many people are now underwater. And what I think is going to happen is I think that a lot of people are going to slowly start to list their properties. And, uh, and as they continue to increase interest rates, people are just going to start to rush out to try to escape the housing market once it gets to a point in which there is, uh, there's no other options right, for the general public. But right now, I think a lot of people are still under the impression that, hey, this economy is going to be OK. Everything's going to be OK. But you start to look at these charts. I mean, they're all looking very similar. Right, everything is this massive, massive run, all this money printing, very, very low interest rates, and now they're rug pulling everything. And as this is happening, I mean, look at this. This is San Fran, I mean, Vegas. It, this is, I think, gonna be a, a trend that is gonna unfold throughout 2023 and 2024, without doubt. Look at, this is really interesting as well. This is autos. I mean, we've seen this massive auto bubble the last couple of years where people are borrowing 100, 125% uh, loan to value on some of these vehicles. It, it's been incredible. But now, yikes, three-year-old truck prices fall another 10,000 on average in May. A $140,000 truck 14 months ago is now worth 77,000, almost half of its value. Meaning all those loans that were taken out with a zero down 6% interest on 140,000 semi are now $33,000 underwater. Is it time to buy, right? This is, uh, this is interesting as well, because they say amid falling inflation, recent signs show Americans are 
Fewer Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. They're putting this conversation out, I believe, to let people know that, hey, look, we can afford more interest rate hikes. You know, the economy is doing better. The economy is doing okay. And I'm not saying the economy is doing horrible now, but I'm saying the everyday American is. And I'm saying that it's it's a completely different picture what we see on television versus what we see on Main Street. And uh, I think I think it soon it's going to be undeniable, especially if they bring back student loans in the next you know 90 days, 120 days in September, October. You're going to see a lot of people not being able to afford those loans, right? They're not going to be able to make those payments. Uh, I mean. Look at the, the auto market, 125% loan to value on these cars, 110% for used cars, same, same quarter as a year ago. So yeah, yeah, people ask me, hey John, you know, you think the housing market, you think everything's gonna crash. I'm not saying that I think, you know, this is gonna crash because, you know, I'm just like bearish on the market. I'm just saying, how can people afford it when we start to step into this new environment where we're gonna start to see a situation where, things are likely going to continue to get more and more and more expensive as the years to come and we're going to start seeing wages continue to fall and we're going to start to see more and more employers outsourcing talent less opportunity here in america with rising taxes and more money printing so people ask me what do i think is going to happen i think we're in the greatest wealth transfer of all time and money's never lost it's simply transferred that's it we're going to see this money being transferred from the middle class and it's going to be transferred to the top and if you're a smart and savvy investor, you want to invest, you want to position yourself for the greatest investing opportunity of all time, I think the next three years are going to be extremely, extremely important to do that. And uh, yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? Drop it below. Let's have a conversation about it. If you want to fix your credit to position yourself for what will be an incredible opportunity, we'd love to help you at greatcreditfast.com. Greatcreditfast.com. Schedule a free consultation over there. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Add me on IG for short form content I won't post here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.